milestones. So once you've created your project workspace, the first thing you want to add in is your milestones. And the reason you want to add these first is because you can link other things to them. So when you add in your to-dos and your messages, um, you can link them back to a milestone, which just helps organize it a little bit better. So what I like to do is you can add one milestone at a time, or you can add 10 at a time. So let's try that. So pick a date. So our first milestone will be to say we're doing a web project or something. Uh, we'll, we'll say present wireframes to client. Uh, let's see. I'm just picking some random ones here. Present complete design. Of the copy deck. What else? Let's see. Begin development. Development. And we can pick dates for them as well. So let's say the 19th, 21st, 27th. And we can also assign them. So just so just to note, when I start assigning um, these, people will get a reminder. And you'll basically get a big reminder that says, present wireframes to client. So I don't want to add too many of these because these people will actually be getting emails. Go. And then you can create your milestones. Oh, and they need to pick a date. So number four, that's due on the 31st. Okay. So once you've added your milestones, it puts it into a nice little calendar. So you can see what's upcoming. who it's assigned to and what the date is. Now, I'll show you an example of what a milestone list looks like on one of the current projects we're doing. So this is the eggs app project. So when milestones are late, they appear up here in red. So <laughs> 10 days ago, client feedback was due for wireframes. Um, but it hasn't been checked off yet because it's not complete. So as soon as it's complete, you can check it off and then it'll disappear. So yellow is upcoming. So you can see here, got a lot of stuff due today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and they all go in order, which is great. And then at the very bottom, it shows you the completed ones. So you can see you know, we've completed the review, final notes, image. And here, you can see the to-dos and the messages that are linked to the milestones, which is really helpful because if you're trying to, um, for example, an image and copy description, it's nice to have the files with the milestone so you can find them easier. So that is how to add milestones.